Hello and welcome to Stratacast, a Battletech podcast where we'll be looking at ways to support people playing Battletech. My name's Stuart Strategos and I help run the events for Battletech UK Southeast. And we're going to look today at one of the biggest questions that people have when getting into Battletech. How do I get a sheet for my Mac? So I want a sheet to play with. So there are a couple of different ways and I'm going to just show you the obvious way and then we're going to have a look at this piece of software called Mega Mech Lab, which is software made uh, by people who have volunteered their time to code it all, but it is a gold standard product. Even the people at Catalyst say that they use this product to build and design mechs and print sheets. So we are going to have a look at this, but first of all, the easiest way to get a sheet for your Mac. If you've just bought a force pack, some of the new Catalyst plastics is simply to go to this website, which is bg.battletech.com and go over to downloads. And they've provided in the downloads down here, record sheets. And there are record sheets for every single Mac, which has been made in plastic. Not all of the variants, but the main variants of the mechs that are made in plastic. So you've got wave one and wave two, which are from the uh, first um, from the first um, uh, Kickstarter. And you've got also got the mercenary packs like the Wolf Dragoons, Eridani Light Horse, and these are all PDFs and you can just go in and you can print off sheets from there. So Catalyst doing their best to make sure that sheets are easily accessible and available to people. We're gonna look at a bit more detail though at Mega Mech um, lab, which is a part of what we call the Mega Mech Suite, but you don't need to have everything to use just Mega Mech Lab. To get Mega Mech Lab, it's really easy. It runs on PC or Mac. Um, I don't know if it runs on, it runs on Linux as well, actually, if you use Linux. What it doesn't run on, unfortunately, is it doesn't run uh, as an app on tablets or for a web browser. It is a piece of uh, Java-based, JavaScript-based software, so you are going to need uh, a desktop computer, well, a laptop, or or whatever you want to use, you're going to need something that runs uh, Mac OS, uh, Windows, or uh, Linux. And I'm using this on on Mac OS at the moment. Uh, so we want to download. So you go up to download, and there are two versions. There is a developmental build, and there is a stable build. I'm going to be using the developmental build. In actual fact, I'm one behind. I'm using 0.49.12. But the stable build is one where there's no bugs, but to be quite honest, the developmental builds are very, very easy to use as well. And you just select what you want to download. Now you can download Mega Mech, uh, Mech U HQ, which is the whole suite. But to be quite honest, if you just want it to print sheets, just download Mega Mech Lab and it'll download just that as a much smaller product. So that's much easier to do. You just click on Windows, go through the installation process. It's nice and simple. You just need to make sure you've got an up-to-date version of Java. There's some notes here that will tell you what you need to do to do that. So when you launch it, you get this splash screen. Very easy. And all we're going to do is we're going to show you in this uh, podcast how to just get one sheet and then how to get several sheets at once for your unit. So we're not going to look at building in this podcast. So we're just going to go to load existing unit. And then we get a screen that looks like this. This is a massive database of different uh, units. And a few things to say about these these menus here about what ones you've got here. So introductory box set is like what it says. So uh, anything that's got the introductory tab, so anything that's um, from the Battle Yet Game of Armored Combat, or anything that's basically only on introductory rules will be found here. Um, anything else that's basically standard rules using Total Warfare will be Inner Sphere Total Warfare or clan total warfare, and then there are advanced technologies. So if there's if it's got a piece of equipment that comes from TAC Ops, then it will be in here. So this can be a bit awkward to work your way through to try and work out where the unit is. There's also experimental, and there are some unofficial units here listed as well, which are have come from a variety of different sources. But we're just gonna look at the Inner Sphere introductory box set, and we're gonna start just typing in the filter what mech we want. I'm not going to go through the advanced search. I'm just going to keep this nice and simple. We want a Shadowhawk. Now, nobody in their right mind would ever want to pilot a Shadowhawk 2D, so we're not going to choose that one. Sorry, Davion. 
and we're going to choose the Shadowhawk 2H, our classic uh, ride. You get a great little summary, which is great for browsing and seeing what what it, what you want. It tells you the quirks, tells you the weapons, tells you uh, the armor and internal, tells you the locations for where the different uh, systems are, tells you everything you need to know. Uh, even tells you the introductory date, which is also here on the menu. So if you're doing error specific things, it doesn't tell you the error which you get from the master unit list. So um, that's uh, something it doesn't tell you. It tells you the most one of the most recent sources where to find this in hard copy. Um, there's also a rather than just a summary, there's a full kind of one that looks like the technical readout, which uh, either is fine as tells you a lot more kind of breakdown details. Um, there's also the Alpha Strike card. So if you're looking for Alpha Strike, you can uh, copy this to the clipboard and then you can put in Word and just put those together. Uh, and all of these Alpha Strike things are up to date as well. So we're going to concentrate on this classic battle tech. So we just basically want uh, select and close. And now it's loaded the screen. It's just loaded on my other screen because I've got two screens here. Here we go. And this we don't need to do anything with. This is just a program. It has all the stats in here. We just need to go to file. And then you can do two things. Either one, you can print and then put current unit. Okay. Or you can do uh, export to PDF, current unit. Now, while you might think that's quite useful to export to PDF is because you can then take that PDF and you can use that in, for instance, um, if you don't want to do pen and paper, uh, pencil and paper, you can use that in something like uh, OneNote or a PDF uh, annotation. My favorite at the moment is using OneNote. Um, it's got its flaws, but it's quite good because I can basically put all my units in OneNote and I can uh, annotate them and cross off damage as I'm going. Um, rather than constantly killing trees and printing off record sheets. Of course, it has its disadvantage, making sure you've got everything charged up and making sure you've got your iPad with you and you've got uh, everything you need. But it's, it's quite a good uh, technique. If you're using like an iPad, you can actually use the built-in books, um, uh, PDF updater. But there are lots of other things that you can use to annotate PDFs. Uh, or you can just go the old route of just printing a uh, printing the current unit and just printing it out. So that's the easiest way to get sheets. And I'll just show you if I just go to file, uh, print, and actually just do uh, export to PDF current unit. Okay, it'll tell me somewhere to save it. So I'm just gonna save it uh, here. And, and then I'll just open it and I'll show you it just look uh, like a standard um, a standard record sheet, but with a couple of differences because I've enabled some extra options. So on the standard record sheet, let's just find this. Here we go. So on the standard record sheet, you basically get just this section here, okay? And, but with Megamec, you've got the option to get these additional tables. So very easy to do that. All you've got to do is once you go into Megamec, you've got to go to File and Options and Configuration. And then in the Configuration tab, you can go to Record Sheets and Export and you can choose different things. Now there's a couple of useful things here. One, if you're in the UK, uh, not in America, uh, you can change this to A4 rather than letter. I have no idea what letter is. Americans are strange like that, but we use A4 in Europe. So uh, we've also got use color, you can take that off. Print reference tables is the one you want to add. Uh, print design quirks, so that'll list what quirks the unit's got available for using those optional rules. Um, include pilot data when printing from a mole. We're not doing that, okay? So one of the disadvantages of this is it doesn't, there's no way to put in the pilot skill or the pilot name. You'd have to do it manually with pen and paper. Uh, Mega Mech uh, Lab is not a force builder. It's just for designing Macs and printing sheets. 
uh, print the error icons, you get these like nifty little icons, which just basically denote what error uh, it's from. So if I show you on here, um, we've got here the uh, uh, Star League error, because it's a traditional Star League Mac all the way back from 26th century. Uh, Unit's primary purpose, purpose, is it a skirmisher, a brawler? Heat profile, it's quite useful. Heat profile tells you the maximum load it can have. Expanded heat scale is for optional rules when you're using the 50 point heat scale from TACOPS, but we're not using that. And that's it. So it's that easy to print sheets. And then once you're in this, if you want to print a different sheet, there's actually another quicker way once you're in, you can just go again to file, print from cache. And again, I can just pick, let's go for a locust this time. Locust 1E. So it's, uh, select and close. And then it launches straight into my print menu. Okay, or I can export it. So it's very easy to print individual sheets. Now, if you wanted to save time and do multiple sheets, there is a way, I don't use this very often, so forgive me if it takes me a little while to do this, but there's a way you can add it to a queue where you can basically go to print or export and you can queue units. So you can either export to PDF and queue units to export, or you can ex or you can print and queue units to print. So if I show you that, if we queue units to print with the hat with the shadow hawk, and you get this little menu here, and it says add from file, add from cache. Okay, so I can say, right, I'm gonna have a lance here from the introductory set. I'm gonna start with a battle master, go for one G. Okay, and then you can see it's added that, it's added it twice actually. Let's remove that one. Uh, and let's do with the war, uh, the catapult from the, uh, again, from the Battlestick Game of Armed Combat box set. I'll select that, then do the Wolverine. Let's go for the 6R and the Locust. So this is our classic lance from the Battletech Game of Armed Combat box set. Let's go for the uh, Freebie. There we go. And there we go. And now, oh, I've clicked on that twice, so I'll just go and click off that and remove that one. So it's ready to print, and I can click on that to make sure each unit's on a separate page. It would be anyway for mechs, but for vehicles, if you're exporting vehicles, you can get two per sheet, and you just click print record sheet, and it will print all of those out. So it's a quick way to print an entire force. But one disadvantage is it isn't a force builder, so it won't let you work out exactly the total BV of your force or adjust it for pilot skill. So if you're new to the game, again, very easy to install, no problems, very easy to use. You don't have to do anything about designing the mechs. All you need to do is load the mech, print it, or export it, and you're done. Really easy way. Only disadvantage, you can't use it through a web browser, and you can't use it, uh, it is, there's no app for it. It is only Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. Great, uh, next time we're gonna look at deep dive into building mechs. And so that's gonna be our next topic using uh, Mega Mech Lab to build mechs.